Hey everybody, Mr. Mathlog here. This is uh, Numerical Expressions. This is our 10th lesson in Chapter 1. Let's go ahead and get started here. So here's our question. How can we describe a situation using numerical expressions? It's a pretty easy lesson, you guys. So a numerical expression is a math phrase with pluses, minuses, divide, and multiply, and anyways, it does not have an equal sign. Looks like I got an email there. So equal signs uh, have equations, you guys. So if you see an equal sign, that's a that's an equation. Uh, otherwise, it's a numerical expression if it doesn't have an equal sign. So here's an example. Misty uh, purchased 15 small fish in an aquarium store. Her friend Liz purchased 12. So we're going to write a numerical expression to represent how many total fish they purchased. This is pretty easy, you guys. Hopefully you can follow along. So choose which operation to use for the expression. So we have 15 small fish from Misty. And we're going to go ahead and add Liz's small fish. So that's a plus sign. Uh, so she had 12, and so it's just going to be 15 plus 12. Okay, so the, uh, the expression 15 plus 12 is how many fish they bought together. And that's your answer, you guys. That's as easy as it is. Well, it gets a little bit more tricky, but I'll show you in just a second. So let's watch, you guys. So let's write an expression uh, to match the word. So we'll do one for addition, subtraction, multiplying, and dividing, OK? So here's one for addition. Russell has 14 fish in his tank. He buys five more. So we're going to do the fish plus the, uh, uh, plus the more fish of five more. So the expression would be 14 plus 5. That's your answer, you guys, okay? It says write an expression to match the words. Okay, so 14 plus 5 is our expression that matches this. Yes, we know there's 19 in that, but that's not the answer. They just want us to write an expression. You'll find out later as we get start progressing in math, we need to know how to write these expressions because we're going to turn them into equations later and we're going to solve equations, okay? So hold on. So right now we're just doing this easy stuff. So easy points I like to tell my students so Susan has hundred twenty eight in her savings hundred twenty eight dollars in her savings she spends four dollars okay so this is the subtraction so it's the money she has in there minus the money she spent so there's her expression hundred twenty eight minus four okay easy huh alright so here's one for multiplication Kim buys five movie tickets each one cost eight dollars so it's gonna be the tickets multiplied by the cost so it's gonna be um, uh, she has five tickets and she's multiplying that by eight so so that would be the expression that represents this uh, scenario right here here's one for division right here okay whoops I thought I clicked that here we go so five players share 40 uh, uh, 45 cards equally so this one's going to be how many cards they have divided by how many players they have so the expression would be 45 divided by 5 okay easy enough so expressions with parentheses okay so the meaning of the words in the problem will tell us uh, where to place the parentheses in the expression so so here's an example so which expression matches the meaning of the word so Dylan went to the fair for three days each day he took fifteen dollars at the end of each day he had five dollars left so how much money did did Dylan spend total okay so we're gonna underline the events that he did each day and circle the number of days he, uh, that these events happened. so so he each day uh, he took fifteen dollars and at the end of each day he had five dollars left so this happened for three days so we circled uh, the number of days these events happened and and uh, the events each day were he took fifteen dollars and he only had five dollars left okay all right so uh, is this uh, um, expression correct is fifteen minus five correct okay well think each day he took fifteen dollars and he had five dollars left well that's for each day he did this for three days so this is how much he did it for one day so so we need to show how much money he spent for three days so we're gonna take this one day and multiply it by three so Dylan spent we're just gonna take this expression and multiply it by three and so he did three times the quantity we'd say quantity is in parentheses three times parentheses 15 minus 5 okay alright so um, so it, it's not asking how much he spent and all. It's just asking to write a, an expression, okay? So which problem matches the expression here? $20 minus uh, $12 plus $3. Okay, well, bef let's go ahead and figure this out right here. It'll help this problem go a lot easier, okay? In the next lesson, we'll learn that we have to do parentheses first. So let's do the parentheses first here. This is going to be 12 plus 3 is 5, or 15, sorry. 
So this is 20 minus 15 right here, which is going to give us $5. So our answer has to be $5. So let's just go through the problem and see which one gives us $5. Here, Eric has $20 to spend for his trip to the fair. He spends $12 on rides. Then he finds to $3. How much money does Eric have? Okay, so list the events in order. So he starts with $20. Okay, so then next he um, he spends $12 on rides. So that would be a subtraction problem. So he has 20 minus 12 or $8 left. Then he finds the $3. So we're going to add that. So he has $8 plus $3. Does this match the problem? Does it match it up here? Nope, it sure doesn't, you guys, because it has to be 5. All right, so this one must do it. Let's check this one out. So he, Eric has $20 to spend, and he spends $12 on rides. Well, let's do that first. Okay, so he does uh, $12 on rides, so he has $8 left. Okay, and then he spends uh, $3 on lunch. So we're going to take that $8, and we're going to subtract 3 more dollars, and that's going to give us $5. Okay, so do these words match? Yes, they do. They match perfectly. Okay, you guys, take care.